All right, tell us your name. My name is Adam Bradford. And uh, where do you live? I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, okay. There are yes. quite a few people in Charlotte here, right? Yeah. Let's hear where are the Charlotte people are. They here? Or? Yeah, in some little corner over there. Okay. I thought you all would already be at the bar because it's all after three o'clock almost. So. Is it? No, not quite yet. It's yeah. five o'clock somewhere though. Yeah. So. Yeah. All, all right. Uh, and tell us what you're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about dynamic store registration with UX. All right. The floor is yours. Store module registration. Let me start right. I may have had a drink or two. Uh, so if you guys have ever had an issue where you wanted some fine grain control over uh, an object, whatever, inside of you, there was a, a kind of inherent issue that is now being resolved. Thank you for that. Um, inside of arrays and found that out this morning. That was fantastic. But still, this principle still applies um, inside of what we're trying to do here. So that'll do. Ah. We are going to deduct this from your time. That's fine. <laughs> it's a quick one anyways. Um, so basically what we set up to accomplish is we wanted to be able to import data from an API, register it inside of UX, and be able to share the state across many things. We wanted to keep our app size small. And to do that, basically we set up a, uh, a module. Am I, am I? No, you're fine. I'm fine. Okay. We set up a static module uh, that's inside of UX and a plugin that waited for the mutation inside of the API response and then registered all these dynamic modules, which inherently kept our app size small and kept it fast, proficient, et cetera. So just gonna show some code. Here's our static module, we're waiting for things to load, and we're committing got it. Our plugin then hooks up and it's looking for that got it, we're sitting there waiting. And then we're looping through all of this huge array of the uh, response from the payload. And sub, we're registering the module inside of it. Pretty cool. Here's our static shell shape. We needed to basically have a, um, a way that we defined all the properties previously. Uh, if they weren't really there, it kind of broke things. We found that out the hard way. But um, this works out pretty well. And then, of course, our cell mo uh, our module. And we separated it out. You can see here, we're kind of just doing a object design, merge everything together there. So worked out well. And then our just our general store thing that we set up with this plugin. So this is well documented in the Vuex um, documentation inside the API. And that's about it. Short and sweet. All right. Thank you.